Hello to everybody and welcome. Uh, it's not another episode of Yarn 4 as you may think, and because I decided to cancel the building series of Yarn 4 because we do not gather like a lot of views, so like really no point of this. And you may think that I I just disappeared or something, but like I forgot about my channel and you guys. But as uh, you may see, I constantly comment on videos and I recently just like, you know, answer all of your questions. And I'm sorry that the last video I published was like two weeks ago. But now, as you may know, I'm working on Yavin 4. And a few days ago I deleted the episode 1 of Building Yavin 4. Because it basically just gathered 43 views and no more. So I don't see any point of building, of making those really building segments but for you to know i've been working a lot and i'm about to finish young four i just need like five more days and i'm done and i'm going to enter it like into many contests so yeah uh but here's the progress so far on the mark and as you can see i have tons of things so first of all i've built my own x-wing that looks really nice uh no tutorials my own design of course the things cannot like open and close but you know because in this particular mock and in other mocks uh x-wing is just gonna be like staying on the ground and as you may know uh, when we are on the ground the wings are in this position so guys uh they're kept like this and guys really Comment down below if you like this design of an X-Wing. I try to make it as detailed as possible. And uh, once again, I was not looking at the set. Now I have like a new thingy. When I build a vehicle, I do not look at any like good Lego mock. I basically look at actual picture from Star Wars. So I looked at the actual picture of Star Wars. And as you can see, I made so many like little angles here, a cockpit, a droid, all of these fine details over here. So it really looks good. Also, I have created my own A-Wing and like hands down, in my opinion, it's really good. So it looks like a set. But it's not a set again. I was looking at the Wikipedia image of uh, Aving, and as you may see, I made this dark red thing a little bit like bigger and wider, because it is like actually like this in the movie. So guys, <laughs> I'm super super happy how it turned out. It looks super awesome. Uh, the proportions are good. You can also fit pilot there. The sticker just matches perfectly this way. This way. Starfighter overall. And right here we have those engines. And really flat, very smooth, smoothing end. So, guys, uh, these are also at the angle. So, they look perfect. Guys, now you may ask like, uh, Aving also has these white things right here so why do not i have them well the reason is because uh one i don't know how to fit from there and two i don't really want to because like if i if i had these here at the back down there uh, it would probably not be able to sit and basically stay it will probably be like this or stuff so because Anyway, I'm really happy how it turned out. Also made these custom guns right here that are really good looking. So I'm really happy with my aiming. And also right here we have a little easter egg. Because on Yavin 4 is basically, I think there's going to be our Phantom from Star Wars Rebels. So because it's little, I just decided to like add it. Guys. As you may notice, the only thing which is not here on Yavin 4 is U-Wing. So, you might ask, bro, what the hell? You have X-Wing, you have A-Wing, you have Phantom. Why don't you have U-Wing? Well, um, 
Rory is gonna be Ewing, but it's just really gonna be like mini Ewing, like where at the top. Because where at the top, everything's gonna go like to mini scale, and it will be really fun like this mini Ewing. And why would I not build a big one? Because there's really no space here. As you can see, this already covers so much stuff. And Aving also covers a lot of stuff. And even if I place Ewing here, it would just look like not really good. And if I place Ewing here, it will probably take the entire, the entire area of the inside hangar. And I think that without Ewing, it's really nice. Moving up to here, as you may see on the plans, which I'm gonna bring you right now in a second. You guys, I made new plans, so here we are. Um, because the last plans were very cringy, and like I really rushed while making them. So these are the new modern plans of Yavin 4. So as you can see here, we have three of these green base plates. Uh, which is gonna be basically forest area right here, a little mountain and a forest area. And right here we're gonna have my own custom ATSD, which I'm still working on. Right here it's gonna stay like uh, blasting fire and everything on the Amin 4. And right here we have this little contrast uh, moving from the uh, forest area to the uh, actual uh, to actual landed pad here. And as you can see, this is the actual way. And here we have the start of our landing pad and so these little things right here are basically crates like when i finish the main structure i'll just build like so many so much stuff and i'll basically throw it around the yavin 4 so it looks realistic right here we have our x-wing i'm gonna move the plan like this so you can see it better so right here we have our x-wing uh just as i wanted it to be because right here you can see it's really staying just here, as you can see, just here, so perfect location. And right here we're gonna have 501st Legion, this Darth Vader attacking, infiltrating the rebel base. And basically right here we have these huge steps, which I just made, that look really nice by the way. Uh, we're probably the biggest ones on YouTube I have seen because lots of them just made like one and of course it's not very right scale because in Battlefront 2 game you can actually go inside them and we're basically computer rooms and stuff but as you can see there's no place inside so I had to fill it in filler brick right there but I think it looks really nice with all these details looks awesome I think uh, guys, again, it's not the final version. I'm going to add like plants and stuff here. I'm gonna add like some leaves hanging from here. So, yeah, and also you might ask how did I make them stay like this? So, as you can see, this is perfect design. I got inspired from CB Bricks, who has built Yavin 4 mock like a really long time ago. So, as you can see, I used these angle slopes. So, basically, it creates a perfect shape to put the, this huge wall right here. As you can see, it cannot go anywhere and it has this angle. Uh, same over here with this one. Also, guys, <laughs> I actually planned on basically not filling anything here because I was afraid that I would not have any bricks for the temple and stuff. And I will just like leave it. But because, guys, I'm a good LEGO builder, I do not leave like stuff like this. The only thing I'm gonna leave, which is gonna be ugly, is this. Because no way you're gonna be seeing this in the mock. And there's really no point of wasting my bricks here. Because as you can see, they're gonna be standing right here. And right here, there's gonna be another wall. So, really, no point of doing anything with these filler bricks. So I might leave it like this. So basically on this side there's a bunch of detail and on the other side there's like not very a lot of detail but I'm gonna cover it with leaves so it will look realistic. 
Um, and moving on to here, I've started designing the blending pad, but like I thought that first I would like to do the basic blending pad inside the Masasi temple on the oven floor, but as you can see I already started here. And guys, as you may see, I used a lot of these uh, really nice looking uh, printed bricks and yeah guys there's a bunch of stuff here from Battle of Scarif I have two Battle of Scarif sets and I just used these really nice stickers from the set and I think they look pretty accurate and I really like how it looks so basically all of this is gonna be filled with these smooth tiles so it will look amazing and here I was really intelligent to do so, so instead of tiling the entire thing, I decided to make the snot technique, and because I had lots of these, as you can see, big uh, five by six uh, bricks, which just helped me go around with it. So it's the entire snot technique, which as you can see, fits perfectly right here and right here. Here I, I decided to add like really nice detail, and. I was planning to make it just like straight dark gray in this, but I decided to add a little contrast like right here so it looks way more better and realistic. And right here we are having uh, basically yellow markings. I failed to do them straight from here because I didn't have enough brick, so I had to change it. And here basically we have exactly the same thing. Well, and as you can see, this just my A wing fits perfectly here. And also really like how the edge turned out with these rail bricks that look really nice. So guys, let's move into the thing that I made yesterday. This is like the actual wall design for the Avon 4. As you can see, it's really bricky and it really has lots of detail and these perfect green leaves here. And I just tiled the entire thing with these really cool stationary plates and uh, in this walk I, I wanted to have like two rebel starfighters but I think that I might include this rebel ship so comment down below if you want this ship to basically be here because it fits perfectly it doesn't take a lot of place and what I wanted to have like uh, basically it brought some cargo and supplies right here we're gonna have like rebel officers with rebel crew and stuff but i really like how this turned out i think it looks really good so comment down below if you enjoyed this and moving right here we have my latest creation which was a bit of improvisation and as you can see here we have wall and here we're gonna have a conference room where the rebels basically discuss whether to attack scarif or no but when Leia looks uh, how X-Wings are going to destroy the Death Star and stuff. So here it is the room. And first I was thinking of making it just one plant, oh, sorry, one floor. Uh, but I went with the second one because, as I know, lots of YouTubers, uh, we just kept it like this. But I'm actually going to build like a huge roof over here. There's going to be like mini stuff there and mini U-Wing and stuff. So it's gonna be awesome and yeah so this basically contains two floors and why it contains two floors is because simply here we have these really cool design doors and transparent bricks so right here there's gonna be a table and basically stuff with computers and right here on the second floor also guys enjoy this view from the balcony that looks really awesome by the way i really like how it looks it looks really cool like this so guys right here there's gonna be uh, a place where here there's a board with Death Star plans and basically a general is explaining to all of the pilots right here uh, how to destroy the Death Star and where is it's like weak place so guys uh, I was I was thinking about making leather from here to here but I just decided to keep it this simple and of course, this thing can be easily removable, as you can see, because 
like it's it's really important that I have access to both uh, floors and how did I make it removable so as you can see th this entire thing is smooth and I just added this little plates over here so guys it really looks fine in my opinion but let me put it back and right now a little bit of stuff that I'm gonna be finishing today so right here we have my rock work design right here and over here and as you can see I left out these places and for what? Because, you know, like in Yemen 4, there's a base wall. It can go up and down. Uh, but I'm going to keep it, like, up. And <laughs> there's no way of making this wall, like, go down and top. It's going to be just plates stuck in, like, this. Not these ones, but, like, filler plates. That are going to be stuck like this. And above them, I'm going to have a huge, huge rock work. It's going to be covering all of these things up. So really a lot of work and right here we're gonna have like huge stuff that are, that's basically going to hold the entire wall and the entire these uh, rock, the entire mountain design. So now it's really open but it's gonna be up to here and all this is gonna be like amazing rock work style and design. So guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry for not uploading anything for a while and really I decided to cancel the building series because we do not gather many views and I won't have uh, like videos on my channel but contain like really no priceless information and we just have like you know 43 views or something like this so guys um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed again this video is just for you like to not think that I left YouTube or quit it or anything this mock is, be is uh, I swear to God, this mock is coming out uh, by 8th of March because I'm going to enter it into the mock contest uh, and many more mock contests. So, guys, yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you want me to have this ship right here or if you do not want this ship to be in the mock. And, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, you thought it's the end of the video, but it's not. I forgot to mention. As you can see, there is no edited by Power Director mark on uh, the screen. And you may think that I'm using uh, iMovie. Well, guys, because you, some people will call me a noob, this Power Director, I decided to, ch uh, to change. And now I have a full edition of Filmora made by Sony Vegas. Which looks insane, there's like a bunch of new effects, so uh, lots of you just commented that my channel would be like way more better with when you edit an app. So as you can see, this video is perfectly made with Filmora app, it looks really good, like there's a bunch of new effects there. So guys, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and bye, now for real.